let's get right into it. Number 10. The shipping container. The most boring thing keeping you alive. Imagine waking up tomorrow and everything in your room made outside your country just vanishes. Your phone. Gone. Those comfy sheets. Vanished. That fancy coffee maker. Nothing but air. That's what would happen if shipping containers disappeared overnight. These metal boxes are basically Legos for the global economy. Before shipping containers, loading cargo onto ships was like playing Tetris with your grandma's furniture collection. Workers had to manually load thousands of random-sized boxes, barrels, and crates. It could take weeks to load a single ship, and half the stuff would get stolen or broken along the way. In 1956, Malcolm McLean got tired of watching his trucks wait forever at ports. He thought about putting the whole truck trailer on the ship. That simple idea changed everything. Now we have standardized metal boxes that stack perfectly like giant metal bricks. A modern cargo ship can carry 24,000 containers. That's like fitting the entire inventory of 40 Walmart stores into one boat, and the whole thing can be unloaded in under 24 hours. 90% of everything you own probably took a ride in one of these boxes. That banana you had for breakfast came in a container. Your phone visited at least three countries inside containers before reaching you. Without these boxes, a t-shirt would cost you $200. That phone in your pocket would cost $10,000. We're so dependent on these things that when just one container ship got stuck in the Suez Canal, it cost the global economy $400 million per hour. Number 9. The Barcode. Society's Secret Savior. Before barcodes, every single item in every store had to be manually priced. Someone had to stick a price tag on every banana, every candy bar, every single item. At checkout, the cashier had to manually type in every price. One wrong number, and your ramen noodles could cost as much as a small car. Without barcodes, our entire supply chain would collapse. Take Walmart, for example. They handle about 200 million customer transactions every week. Without barcodes, they'd have no idea what's in their warehouses, on their shelves, or what needs restocking. It would be like managing a library where all books are the same color, with no titles, and everyone's grabbing stuff randomly. The first item ever scanned with a barcode was a pack of Wrigley's chewing gum. That pack of gum is now in the Smithsonian Museum. The inventor of the barcode got the idea from Morse code while sitting on Miami Beach. He was drawing dots and dashes in the sand when he thought about making the lines different widths. In that moment of beach doodling, he revolutionized global commerce. When barcodes first came out, some people actually protested against them. They believed the lines contained secret satanic messages or that it was a government mind control plot. Meanwhile, these simple lines were quietly preventing society from descending into chaos. Number 8. The Clock Look at your wrist or your phone right now. Whatever time you just saw is completely made up. Time isn't real, at least not the way we measure it. We just collectively agreed that when the sun is at its highest, that's noon. And then we divided the day into 24 equal parts, because ancient Egyptians thought that was neat. But this made-up system is the only thing keeping society from descending into complete chaos. Think about your morning routine. You wake up at a specific time, catch a bus at a specific time, start work at a specific time. Your bus driver shows up at an exact moment, your surgeon starts operations on schedule, air traffic controllers guide planes by precise timing. Before mechanical clocks, people used the sun, roosters, and church bells to roughly guess the time. That worked when your biggest appointment was feeding chickens. But imagine running a train system like that. The 315 to Chicago would depart when the rooster crows twice, and a cloud shaped like a horse passes overhead. The invention of reliable clocks didn't just tell time. It created time as we know it. It made the Industrial Revolution possible. For the first time in history, hundreds of people could coordinate their actions down to the minute. The clock is an invisible prison we all agreed to live in. Without it, your Amazon package wouldn't arrive in two days. Your favorite show wouldn't start at 8 p.m. Planes would crash into each other. You're not just checking the time. You're checking in with the invisible tyrant that keeps society from imploding. Number 7. The O-Ring. Imagine you're on a submarine, thousands of feet under the ocean. The pressure outside is trying to crush you like a soda can in a hydraulic press. But you're fine because there's a 50-cent piece of rubber keeping all that water out. That's right. Your life is being saved by something that looks like a rubber donut. These little rubber circles are everywhere. In your car's engine, in spacecraft, in scuba gear. Without them, modern society would literally fall apart. In 1986, NASA launched the Space Shuttle Challenger on a cold morning in Florida. One tiny O-ring, stressed by the cold weather, failed to seal properly. That one rubber ring 
worth less than a dollar, led to the loss of seven lives and a billion-dollar spacecraft. Your car has about 200 O-rings in it. Each one is keeping something important from leaking into something else important. It's like having 200 tiny bouncers stopping fluids from starting fights with each other. These things have to work perfectly in temperatures from minus 40 to plus 400 degrees. They need to keep working when they're covered in oil, fuel, or brake fluid. Scientists have tried all sorts of high-tech solutions, but nothing beats a simple rubber ring. Next time you're in a plane at 30,000 feet, your life is being protected by what's basically a rubber cheerio. Number 6. Paint. The Invisible Shield. Without paint, our entire infrastructure would literally rust away. We think of paint as just something to make things look pretty. But that's like saying a bulletproof vest is just a fashion statement. Take the Golden Gate Bridge. It takes 5,000 gallons of paint to cover that thing just once, and they never actually finish painting it. By the time the painters reach one end, it's time to start over at the other end. Without this constant painting, the bridge would collapse in about 30 years. The salty air would eat through the steel faster than teenagers through a pizza. Everything metal around you is in a constant battle with oxygen. Your car, buildings, power lines are all slowly trying to return to their natural, rusty state. Paint is basically like sunscreen for metal. Instead of preventing a bad sunburn, it's preventing entire cities from falling apart. The paint they use on ships is so specialized, it's basically chemical warfare against barnacles. It literally poisons any sea life that tries to attach to the hull. Without this toxic paint, ships would get so covered in barnacles they'd use twice as much fuel just to move. That means everything you buy would cost way more. Number 5. The Rivet. You're 30,000 feet in the air. You're sipping your drink, watching a movie. Suddenly, you glance out the window and see the wing of the plane. It's held together by what look like fancy metal staples. Those staples are actually rivets, and they are one of the most important inventions keeping you from plummeting to your doom. Every commercial airplane has about 2.4 million rivets holding it together. Take the Titanic. You might think it was the iceberg that sank the unsinkable ship, but it was actually the rivets that sealed its fate. Recent studies found that the Titanic's rivets were made with substandard iron. When the ship hit the iceberg, instead of bending, the rivets snapped like toothpicks. Three million rivets failed that night, turning what should have been a survivable accident into one of history's greatest disasters. Today, a single failed rivet in the wrong place could bring down a bridge, collapse a skyscraper, or cause a plane to fall from the sky. When you cross the Golden Gate Bridge or look up at the Empire State Building, remember, it's not the big beams doing the heavy lifting. It's millions of tiny metal pins each one about as important as your next heartbeat. Number four, the label. Picture a world where, overnight, every single label has vanished. You reach for your morning pills, but which one's your heart medication and which one's grandma's blood thinner? You grab a drink from under the sink, but is that Sprite or bleach in that clear bottle? You're at work, about to hook up a patient to an IV bag, but which one has saline and which one has potassium chloride that'll stop their heart? Labels are like the world's cheapest insurance policy against accidental death. Without labels, every kitchen cabinet becomes a game of Russian roulette. Every pharmacy becomes a death lottery. Every industrial warehouse becomes a ticking time bomb. Number 3. Soap. That boring bar of soap sitting by your sink is keeping civilization from falling apart. Before soap became widespread, diseases spread like wildfire through cities and towns. The average person lived to about 35 years old largely because of infectious diseases. Each soap molecule has two ends. One end loves water, the other end hates it. When these molecules meet a virus or bacteria, they literally pry them apart like a crowbar breaking open a door. The water-hating end stabs into the outer shell of the virus or bacteria. Then thousands of soap molecules do this at once, ripping the germs to pieces. You're basically committing mass murder every time you wash your hands. In the 1800s, Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis noticed that in his hospital, lots of women were dying after giving birth. He realized the doctors were doing autopsies and then delivering babies without washing their hands. When he made doctors wash their hands with soap, the death rate dropped from 10% to almost zero, but the other doctors got mad at him. They were offended by the suggestion that their hands were dirty. They drove this guy insane. He ended up in an asylum where he died from an infection he contracted there. Today, this simple bar of soap is still saving millions of lives. Every time you wash your hands, you're helping stop diseases from spreading. 
You're literally helping hold society together with a $2 bar of soap. Number 2. The Trash Bag Imagine waking up tomorrow and all the trash bags in the world have disappeared. By day 3, your kitchen starts smelling like that one time you forgot about leftover fish in your fridge for a week. By day 7, your neighborhood looks like a scene from a post-apocalyptic movie. By day 30, we're living in medieval London, where people threw their waste out the window and yelled, Guardy Lou, to warn anyone walking below. Trash bags are like society's underwear. Nobody wants to talk about them, but without them, things get messy real quick. Before trash bags were invented in 1950, people either burned their garbage in their backyards or dumped it wherever they could. These thin sheets of plastic don't just keep our streets clean. They're preventing the collapse of our entire public health system. Without proper waste containment, we'd have plague-carrying rats turning your city into a real-life version of the Dark Ages. When loose garbage gets into our sewage systems, it creates things called fatbergs, a giant blob of congealed fat, wet wipes, and other nasty stuff, all stuck together like a sewer monster. London once found a fatberg that weighed as much as 11 double-decker buses. Number 1. Electrical Transformers those big gray boxes you see in neighborhoods that look like oversized mini-fridges are electrical transformers, and they're keeping society from turning into Mad Max. The power coming from power plants is way too strong for your house to handle. It's like trying to fill a water balloon with a fire hose. These transformers take that high voltage and turn it down to something your phone charger won't burst into flames over. Most transformers were built back when disco was still a thing, and if one breaks down... The waiting list for a replacement is about four years long. That neighborhood might be in the dark until your toddler starts kindergarten. No power means no water pumps, no refrigeration for food or medicine, no air conditioning in summer, no heat in winter. Hospitals would run on backup generators until they run out of fuel. Even gas stations need electricity to pump gas, making evacuation impossible. There are about 60 to 80 million of these transformers just in America, and a lot of them are reaching retirement age at the same time. We don't make them fast enough to replace the dying ones. China makes most of the special steel needed for these transformers, and with current supply chain issues, getting that steel is nearly impossible for other countries. That ugly chunk of metal is literally the one thing preventing a complete slide into chaos. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.